thank you all for coming this afternoon. This is um, this afternoon is all about obviously food and wine matching, great company, great team, that sort of thing. Mm. So what we've done here, we're very proud to be here with the Jacob Creek Reserve range. So this is actually the reserve, not the entry level, but the reserve that sits up here. Um, really important, I guess, just to, to remember the wines have been matched to particular um, dishes and the reason for that is that we hope that it complements the flavours of the wine and the food to the ultimate that it can possibly be. The other thing to remember, I guess, is always that palates are so personal and what one person likes, another person may not like, so it is all about that and it doesn't mean that it's right and it doesn't mean that it's wrong, it's just personal. So you can take all that, that sort of um, fish cells because sometimes wine can be quite intimidating for people. Um, they feel that, you know, if they don't know a lot about it, it's not about that, honestly, it's just about enjoying what we do drink and that's really, really important. And like fun little comment from a lady over there about her next partner. <laughs> and they're actually, what is that, a spit in her? Um, <laughs> but anyway, um, we used to do it at River Cafe um, with scallops and monkfish. In the UK, you get these huge scallops from the north um, growing in Scotland. And um, here, I actually, it was actually, I did it in my book, and it's a combination of uh, figs, pancetta, bug meat and bay leaves and it's a beautiful combination of flavours. Uh, generally I do it over a charcoal charcoal fire and suspend the skewers over it so it's a radiant heat but you can do it at home underneath the grill. And the idea is to caramelise the, uh, the figs to really sort of develop the sweetness of them matched with the saltiness of the pancetta and then also the sweetness and lovely flavours of the bugs. And that's dressed simply with a chilli mint dressing, which is chopped chilli, chopped mint, red wine vinegar and olive oil. So it's got a little bit of heat and freshness there, acidity, and just the simple rock and go. So it's really simple. It's, a, it's kind of an Italian-inspired dish, so drawing on sort of flavours of North Queensland. So I hope you enjoy it, and uh, on its way out next. All right, oh, you have to tell them to come down on South Bank Surf Club. <laughs> All I have to. Yeah. So, so give, me, give me a couple of words anyway, Ben. So w w welcome to Cairns anyway. Thanks, man. It's and a pleasure we're, to be here. We're here at the uh, Sea Temple Palm Cove. Yep. Beautiful spot. Oh, mate, how good is it? They've done a great job. Look at the colours. They, yeah. match, they actually match my branding. <laughs> uh, and the weather's turned on. So and we're mind. enjoying your beautiful cuisine. Thanks, mate. Yeah. Tell us some of your, your, your secrets that you brought up here to North Queensland. Oh, I'm just keeping it pretty simple, you know, and celebrating some of the produce that's up here. So obviously mud crab, we've got some um, um, king prawns, some uh, ocean kings. Uh, you had the bugs, obviously North Queensland famous for the Morton Bay bugs. Uh, and uh, the dessert that I'm doing is kind of, it's more of an English inspired dessert. It's called a Knickerbocker Glory. And it's one of the desserts I have on at the surf club in Brisbane, my new restaurant, mm -hmm. which you all have to come to. <laughs> Alrighty, thank you very much. We'll no chat to you soon. Yeah, cheers. cheers. I don't know if you saw it, but it was the happiest bear in the world. And Kyle, Kyle even though he's on stage, he's holding his teddy bear and the, uh, the microphone's between his legs. <laughs> he was a very happy bear. Anyway, uh, the next course is it's kind of it's a real fun meal dessert. We have it on at the, uh, at the surf club. Uh, we sell loads of it. It's fantastic. And it's called the Knickerbocker Glory. And uh, Knickerbocker Glory is a, it's a really kind of traditional English summertime dessert, um, and it's basically man, <laughs> terrorist. Um, it's, uh, it's um, basically a sundae, but it's, we we make brownie. We put brownie at the bottom, then we do ice cream, and we do chocolate and raspberry sauce, whipped cream, then brownie and ice cream and chocolate and raspberry sauce. Uh, we're not going to do that many layers. We just do one layer. Um, but it's then topped with uh, um, walnut praline and toasted coconut, and it's really yummy. And uh, if, you, if we serve them really big, you can only have one between three because they're pretty full on. But um, enjoy them, have fun, and uh, I'll make my way around anyway. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Really, I, I do a, a little bit. I send the menu through, and these guys pull it all together. So for all that hard work, and uh, uh, you know, this wouldn't be uh, possible. And Mike, thanks a lot for your organisation, and thank you guys for uh, your participation. And uh, we look forward to doing another one next year. Yay!
Good work. Thank you very much.